I grew up in Salt Lake City, Utah. I took a degree from the University of Utah, uh, managed some stores for Safeway, and then ended up going to work for General Foods Corporation. I progressed through various jobs, ended up in White Plains, New York as a division sales manager in the beverage division, about a billion dollar business. Virtus is a pretty impressive guy. If you really get to understand his background, um, he is the top of the top in terms of CEO material for, for, for America. I was asked to sit on a board of a small company that had been working on a technology for about 15 years. Numerous patents, a lot of research, and they were actually producing a product using salt and water. And when they told me that, uh, they wanted me to go on their board, I said, well, you're going to have to convince me that this is real. How can you produce something from salt and water? And they said, we have a lot of research, extensive research, 10 or $15 million worth of research. The company that owned it was publicly traded, and uh, they merged that company with an energy company, and after a uh, period of time, six or seven months, they started selling off assets. He let me know that he was on the board of directors and there was this opportunity that was coming up on a product that he thought was wonderful. But I told him, I said, you know, they have something here that they don't, they don't know what it is. And it's a lot more than they think, but they haven't figured it out. And I said, I'm tempted to put a, a group together. In fact, I think I am going to put a group of investors together and I'm going to take a run at the company. Well, that was my opportunity. Um, I pulled out my wallet and pulled out a check out of the wallet and, and Virtus, whatever you need, we're going to do this. And he wrote this check out for a very big amount of money and he said, there's more behind that, let's go put an offer in. And I said, are you serious? Now, I didn't know anything about the product or the company, but I knew Virtus and I was betting on Virtus. I knew that Virtus had done his research. I knew that Virtus was not going to lose. When we finally determined how ASEA worked and what it did, we uh, were confronted with a decision that we had to make. We said, you know, we could potentially make this into a network marketing product. We stabilize the product, we can put it in a bottle. We don't know if that's the right way to take this product. We were giving the product to people to try, to see if they would take the product. We went through a lot of what we call focus groups to see if people would actually take this regardless if they liked the taste or didn't like the taste or if it helped them or how quick it helped them. After two and a half months, we decided to go out and do an assessment of the 40 people that we had given the product to. And when we went out to uh, do an inventory, we found out that the 40 people had turned into 135 people. And not only that, the product had gone to 20 different countries. When people found out what it was doing for them, they didn't hesitate to shoot it off to foreign countries, wherever they happened to be, Egypt and South America and Europe, and then come back and say, I just need more product. And as we gave the product to different people, uh, we found that it really in increased their quality of life. People that were seriously challenged. Um, and it just gave us a sense of purpose. You know, we wanted to start a business. We were both fairly well successful financially. Uh, we didn't need more money. Um, and we found that we wanted to make a mark. We found something that was much bigger than either Virtus or myself. We feel a real strong obligation that our task is to make this available the best we can worldwide to help people. My wife questions why I'm doing this. She said, you've retired more than once and it's time for you to join me and let's enjoy the golden years, if you will. But recently, my son asked me to come down and join him and his family and we went to a church gathering and uh, there was something going on he wanted to be a part of. And while we were there, uh, a, a young lady came up and he introduced me to this young lady and she broke down and started sobbing. And she had a health challenge in her family that was really severe and uh, she was introduced to ASEA. And because of what ASEA did, uh, she was just grateful. So I find it hard to talk about, but that's a reason. <laughs>